In this question, we are told that a car travels due west for 10 minutes at 50 km per hour and then in the direction of 45 degree west and we are to find the average speed. But looking at the options, we can see we are giving our options in kilometers per hour. So we need to be careful so that we don't just double into the question, working in meters per minute, and then needing to translate back to kilometer per hour. Now, we are told that um, it's traveling due west. So our cardinal point being shown here, this is north, south, east, and west. That means our car is starting and heading first and foremost due west for 10 minutes. So if you have this as the movement due west, so this is 50 kilometers per hour, and it does that for 10 minutes, okay? And then it also moved in the direction 45 degree west of north. So from that particular point, we now have 45 degree west of north to be taking 25 kilometer per hour, and that was done in five minutes. So if we are to consider this, now, the final displacement for the vehicle will be as shown in the colored ink, but that is the displacement. We are now being asked, what is the average speed of the car? Well, it's interesting to know that in this particular question, all the information, um, particularly regarding the direction, is actually not needed. We know that speed is a scalar quantity, and speed is given as distance over time. So, from that formula, the distance is speed multiplied by time. So all we need to do in this particular question, we don't need to bother ourselves with the direction. It's just that we are to take the two case scenarios, the first journey at 50 km per hour and the second at 25 km per hour, find the distance and then evaluate total speed, the average speed of the car. So for the first case, when it's traveling at 50 km per hour for 10 minutes, the distance will be speed multiplied by time. Now the speed is 50 km per hour multiplied by the time. The time is 10 minutes. Okay? Now, we have minutes and hour. We need to put them in the same units. This is where we are prone to make mistake. So, 10 minutes, let's say divided by 1, but now we know that 60 minutes makes 1 hour. Okay? So, the minutes from the denominator and numerator, they will cancel out. The hours will cancel out, okay? So, now we can have our distance to be 500 kilometers divided by 60. That is the distance. You can see how I took care of the unit so that hours and minutes are not constituting any nuisance for me. So, in the second case, we're also going to do the same thing. Traveling at 25 kilometers per hour for five minutes, okay? You can find the value of the distance I say the distance is now 25 kilometer per hour over one hour multiplied by time. That's five minutes over one. But we need to convert our time appropriately. And we are noticing that 60 minutes make one hour. So we can cut out the units appropriately. And this will leave us with 25 times 5 is 125 over 60 kilometers. So now... That means that since we know the distance covered in the first case and the distance covered in the second case, the total distance will be 500 over 60 plus 125 over 60. And that will be 625 over 60 kilometers. That's the total distance that was traveled. Now, what is the total time that was used to travel? The total time will be the 10 minutes plus the 5 minutes. So, we can just say that is 10 plus 5, and that is 15 minutes. So, now, 15 minutes, our answer was given in hour, so we need to convert minute to hour, and that will be 15 multiplied by 1 over 60 minutes. So, the minutes will cancel out, so we have this to be 1 over 4. Actually, 15 minutes is 1 quarter of an hour, okay? So, we can now say that from here, we can find the average speed. The average speed of the car will be the total distance divided by the total time, as we have noted before. So that will be the distance is 625 over 60 divided by the time, which is 1 over 4 hour. So we are to just appropriately evaluate that. That will be 625 over 60 times 4 over 1. 
four can go here, 15. Okay. So we have 625 over 15 kilometers per hour. And if we bring in our calculator, 625 divided by 15, that would be 41.67 or 41.7 kilometers per hour. So the correct option for us is option D. That is the right answer. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.